Dragon's Two by Steve Smallman, illustrated by Lee Wildish. Five bold Vikings went out hiking, looking for adventure. But what could they do? Let's have a battle or steal some cattle, said Grim. But the other Viking said, Well, that's nothing new. Let's go fishing in the dark for a massive monster shark, said the big bird Bushy. But Harold said, Pooh, let's wrestle with the bear in just our underwear. But the other Viking said, Well, that's nothing new. I'm really bored with hiking, moaned Yup. Then little Logie said, I know what we'll do. We'll go and catch a dragon, then tie it to a wagon, and take it home and chop it up and make a dragon stew. And the other Viking said, Now, that's something new. But what's a dragon? So they picked up the wagon that they needed for the dragon. A stack of sardine sandwiches in case they missed the tea. A fishing net, a bowl of string, a pointy dragon poking thing and stuffed them in a long boat and rowed it out to sea. They sailed away together through stormy winds and weather till a squeaky squeezy squid came looking for a fight. But one whiff of Harold's sock and the squid collapsed in shock. And in no time, all its tentacles were tied up, good and tight. They journeyed on and on till all the sandwiches were gone. But where was Dragon Island? They didn't have a clue. Then Bushy grabbed the tail of a passing killer whale and said, Take us to the dragon or we'll make us two of you. Five happy Vikings went out hiking on a fearless quest to catch a dragon for their stew. They tiptoed over logs and they splashed through squelchy boards. Till they came across a gleaming, steaming pile of dragon poo. Oh, we are getting close. A bit too close. They hurried on until they saw a knobbly bobbly hill. Let's climb it, Logie said. We'll get a better view. Are we there yet? Grumbled Yop as they struggled to the top. Then they shouted all together. Oh, dragon, where are you? And the dragon said, Here I am. How do you do? Visitors, how sweet. Now, would you like to eat something? Yes, cried the Vikings. Fresh dragon stew. Then they started to attack him and to poke him and to whack him. And the dragon said, Oh, really? What a nasty thing to do. The dragon twitched his snot and a jet of flame shot out. It buzzed behind the Vikings and set their pants alight. Hide! My backside! And they legged it to their long boat with their bottoms burning bright. Five soul Vikings all quite liking, cooling off their bottoms in the sea so blue. Harold said, You're lucky. Dragon probably tastes yucky. Then Bushy wrote, I'm really bored. So now, what can we do? Ah, <sighs> here we go again. <laughs>